Hey y'all, welcome to Hashtag Religion Week TV. It's where we can sip all the tea with no shade, talking everything up to Yahweh. Why? Because all the damn tea out there is like burning like hell and it needs just a little dose of sweet tea in the Lord to put it out. Subscribe, like, and share and don't forget to hit that bell. Hey YouTube, what's going on guys? I'm going to go ahead. Do you guys remember the Natalie, Natalie Holloway story? I'm going to go ahead and read a clip to you about the would-be uh, link kidnapper. Not the one who actually did it, but the friend of the friend. Well, he was stabbed, and I just want to go ahead and give you a report on it. I don't know why, but I'm just going to start doing things like this, bring it to the forefront, and we'll always talk everything up to Yahweh. Why? Because we can sip on all the tea we can with no shade, talking everything up to God. My, I call him Yah, my creator, because some things can be some bull you understand what i'm saying so let's go ahead natalie holloway linked would-be kidnapper is stabbed to death now the news is so concerned not so much with jaron vandersloot who the original kidnapper is but with this guy christopher i believe his name is ludwig we're gonna get to that in a minute but down in northport florida a man who once claimed he helped bury the remains of an american teenager who vanished during her senior trip to aruba has died after being stabbed during a foil kidnapping oh so not once but twice this clip already says that he was involved in this thing twice y'all he uh, claimed he helped bury somebody, an American teenager. Now, this is taking place somewhere else in another part of the world. Another kidnapping gone foiled, gone wrong, gone bad. And somebody lose their life behind it, y'all. You understand what I'm saying? Wicked at its best, nonetheless. But we're going to go ahead and read it and see what the outcome is, okay? The Tampa Bay Times reported that 32-year-old John Christopher Ludwig tried to kidnap a woman Wednesday as she exited her driveway in Northport. She's in her driveway, minding her business, probably going to work, going to get the kids from school, grocery shopping, hell to the gym, church. You don't know where this woman, if she was going or coming. But keep in mind, she's in her driveway. Is she the one who stabbed him? We'll have to continue to read on and see. So um, it says police says she fought back and Ludwig was stabbed in the struggle. There's an article here. I'm going to leave a link down below where you can find this article and read more and do your own research and, you know, uh, just get your own intake on it. He ran, but officers found him in a wooded area. He died at a hospital. You know, sometimes evil need to die in hell, but uh, God still finds a way to make it comfortable for a wicked soul to die in peace in the hospital. Not in the wooded area, not in her driveway, um, not where the young missing uh, teenager Natalie Holloway uh, was was found by her father, I believe, in Aruba. That's another story. We can we could definitely tie it in if we want. But this is crazy, right, guys? So, um, according to the Times, Lowick was a friend of Joran Vandersloot, who I mentioned earlier, the prime suspect in a 2005 kidnapping of Natalie Holloway. Guys, they make this uh, a full time career and job where these two is from. These two friends here have been doing this since 2005 and prior to that. But what I want to say is all of our young black girls that has gone missing within the last two or three months don't get this much coverage as this has been getting since 2005. That is the Natalie Holloway case. Of course, it's connected to it, and we're not actually talking about that case, but someone involved in that case is getting coverage. Just bury his ass, let him go on about his business, and let his soul rot in hell if that's what he chose for his soul to do while he was alive in the earth. You understand what I'm saying? But uh, he shouldn't have no, no business making it a full-time career going around here kidnapping women. That's, that's demonic, wicked, and evil people.
And it shows how much value and respect these two young men had for women. I would love to meet their mother. I would love to see their sisters and family members and see what their take is on this. But then it goes on to say that Holloway, who lived in suburb of Birmingham, Alabama, it, why they got to put that suburban? Because, you know, Alabama, but suburban? She was from Alabama, y'all. Birmingham, Alabama. That's right. Birmingham, Alabama. They want to put the, the suburban to go ahead and separate black and white, high class, low class, the rich part of town versus the hood. Anyway, she was 18 when last seen during a high school trip, trip, high school graduation trip to the Caribbean island with friends. Here we go. She's with her friends. Jaron Vandersloot was with his friend, the one who just got stabbed, being in a woman's driveway down in Northport, Florida, trying to kidnap her. Um, it says, her disappearance sparked years of news controversy. Why only her disappearance, y'all? Why not allegedly dead or alive, Kanika Jenkins? Why not Jolie Musa? Hell, why not your sister? Why not your cousin? Why not your, 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 your niece? Why not your aunt? Why not your mother? Why not your grandmother? I mean, there's so many women who go missing in this world for whatever reason, don't get half the attention as this case right here has gotten. As you heard me say back in 2005, and then as you hear me say now, a lot, it gets sparked years of news coverage to even where they want to cover the man who's still out here allegedly kidnapping women for whatever reason when he should get no attention at all. I say give no place to the devil, but what the news media does and what people like to do is keep feeding you the coverage that's demonic. Don't even cover it. Even in his death, he's still getting talked about. Natalie Holloway, too, God rest her soul, but she's still being talked about. But you have people, that happened in 2005, 13 years ago. You have people who died this morning, last night, yesterday, a week ago, a month ago, three months ago, five, six, seven, two years ago. You have that little story about Brianna Jenkins. That wrote that book connected to Kanika Jenkins. You understand what I'm saying? There's so much going on with our people. So many people that's gone missing. But yet none of these people want to talk about it. So thank God for YouTube. And I'm going to tie their, their way of covering their stories. And tie our stories into it as well. So it goes in to say no remains were ever found. A judge acting at her father's request declared Holloway legally dead six years ago. God bless the family of Natalie Holloway. I mean, that's sad. I remember the case, y'all. I remember so many other cases uh, with melanin in their skin that don't get the coverage, that needed the coverage, that um, should have got the coverage and still should be covered today. Vandersloot is now in prison for the 2010 slaying of another young woman in Peru. Guys, five years after Natalie Holloway is allegedly accused, allegedly, truthfully, by this man, German Vandersloot, who friends just got stabbed, Christopher Lowick, in the driveway of another woman in Northport, Florida, is, um, this happened 2010. This, um, I got to figure out when, this is recent post here, news from March 15th, um, 2018. So I'll have to find out. I have another clip on Lowick that I'm going to try to tie into this before it's over with. But, um, this stuff been going on for a long time. A long time. Another woman dead in Peru. This man down in North, Northport, Florida. Uh, um... Miss Holloway, Natalie, was in Aruba 
You see how widespread the dynamic of this situation, this behavior, the choice. I don't, I used to believe in the devil, y'all. But the devil is you. Genesis 6 and 5, 6, 7, 8 in that area says that God knew that man's heart was continually evil from the beginning. It almost repented God that he made man. God almost felt sorry for making some of you out here that choose to do this stuff. Because your heart is demonically wicked. And, and, and you need to repent of that. Change and turn from your wicked ways, people. Those who are called by his name. Humble yourself and live the righteous life. It's nothing wrong with it, people. It's nothing wrong. You can have just as much fun, be down, all this other stuff, being righteous and speaking the truth, than living somebody's life. So anyway, it goes on to say, Van de Sloot is expected to be extradited to the U.S. after completing his sentence in 2038. To face charges, he tried to extort money from Holloway's family. Damn, he's try he's getting more time for extorting the Holloway family than for killing their daughter. But yet, you have cases like Kanika Jenkins, who they say her mama was extorting her death, trying to get money from all the black activist groups and things like that to try to foot her lavish lifestyle or lack thereof. And, um... Go ahead and, and, you know, capitalize off of somebody's death. Again, I don't care how you look at stories unfolded. A lot of them are demonic because the love of money is the root of all evil, people. Not per se the money. Okay, so with that being said, I'm going to go on and see if I could pull up um anything else related to... Related to this story with the guy, because I came on talking about this guy got stabbed in a woman's driveway, Northport, Florida, probably from another country, but um, this is America. This is what we have became. Let me see, which one goes first? I think it's this one. Let me just pull this clip up. Go ahead and read it. It's his it's his story. Um, I was trying to find a video of Mr. German Sleuth in prison, but it wouldn't pull up. So I'll put the links down below and let you guys go and search this story out yourself. Read it and see the comparisons to what uh, really goes on in our community with news coverage. Because even a lot of our black news reporters will not report the news properly. They will not report the news properly at all. Okay, so a man who helped dispose the remains of a missing teenager, Natalie Holloway in Aruba, was fatally stabbed by a woman while attempting kidnapping, authority says Wednesday. So this is real recent, guys. John, John Christopher Ludwig made headlines during Oxygen's The Disappearance of Natalie Holloway series in September 2017. So this is a couple of months ago, you know. It made it on television, okay. And a lot of your stories in your community, people who get drugged down the street, put in cars, uh, husbands who steal the wives and the kids, all this stuff go on in your community and it never gets coverage, y'all. Never gets coverage. But this man who had a friend who been going around raping and killing people since 2005, uh, allegedly, because we only know on paper, we don't know what's not found. What you don't know, you don't, you can't, it, it, I, in nursing we say if you don't document it, it ain't done. So, undocumented is not done, but it really could have been done prior to 2005 is what I'm trying to say. And this guy, I've been friends with this guy. And in 2010, he killed another woman. And now in 2017, the friend of a killing two women ends up on national television. And here we are. 
talking the truth, living the truth, and we can't make it out the hood half the time. We can't make it past the A line or the B line or the bus stop or the gas station, let alone the next city, the next town, the next country. But these people is going from country to country to country because America is so weak. It allow people like this in our country. And I'm not saying people can't come to this country, but if they come into this country to steal, kill, and destroy, they are demonic. Their only motive is to hurt people, and they need to be slowed down. They they need to be drugged by the tail. They can't go back to heaven if you believe that story, but there's a place for people like that for their souls, and that's where you just need to profess them to be. But anyway, we're going to wrap it up here. So it says, um, to do, to do, to do. on Wednesday, police in Northport, nearly 60 miles south of Tampa, said Ludwig was declared dead after he was stabbed by an unidentified woman whom he tried to kidnap. Karma is a mug. You out here raping and killing women, and it's a woman you trying to kidnap and rape and that kill you. That's a true statement. What comes around goes around, I guess, in this sense. But I don't wish death on nobody. Not on the women they was raping and killing and not on him being killed. But at the end of the day, you live by the sword. You die by the sword, some say. And do believe. So anyway, Northport Police spokesman Joshua Taylor said Ludwig knew the person he was trying to kidnap. The two were reportedly roommates at one point and Ludwig wanted a romantic relationship with her. But the woman declined his proposal. So now we getting into the story, people. So now we getting into the story, people, okay? This was more romantic and more personal than you thought, right? I didn't lead you on to know what was really going on. But sometimes you got to let people figure out what it is for themselves. Because I know in our black community, we always handed stuff, gifted stuff, passed down, hand me down. Listen, learn to get on your own get your own get your own get your own wisdom get your own knowledge just because your grandmama went to church don't mean you bona fide church member in the church you go to that you know stop believing the the concepts and the the bull crap of their reality because you can't live your life living another man's life that he created for you so he can oppress you and keep you bound <coughs> Sorry about that, people. Almost done here. So anyway, it goes on to say that these two were basically involved, y'all. There was a proposal. She turned it down. Probably found out he had molested, raped, and uh, 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 kidnapped women and killed women before and said, no, bruh, because people do believe in forgiveness and giving people a second chance and, oh, just because they killed once or kidnapped a woman once, he ain't going to do it to me. Mm-hmm. Okay, I bet when she refused that proposal, that's when his demise came, is what I'm trying to say. It's crazy, people. But it had to do with a relationship. And for so many times, we still... He he died doing what he loved to do. Raping and kidnapping women. <coughs> and say, oh, how Drew, how Miss Drew, excuse me about that. Where's my, um, here we go. You say, how much do? Because when you rape and kill somebody, kidnap somebody. Hey, so yeah, it's like you strip them of who they are. You literally kill the soul. I mean, um, so I'm going to go ahead and go back and read one of these, finish this clip out for you. I believe we got so far, and then I'm going to read the other caption, and then just give you my commentary on it all when we're done. So basically, it says, you know, to sum it all up, it was in North Northport, Florida. Police spokesman Joshua Taylor said that Ludwig knew the person he was trying to kidnap. And the two were reportedly roommates at one point, and Ludwig wanted a romantic relationship with her. But she declined. She refused the proposal. 
He essentially ambushed her getting out of her car going into her home, Taylor said. Adding during the, the scuffle between the two on Wednesday, she was able to wrestle a knife from Ludwig, who had the knife. She didn't have the knife, but she was able to wrestle, wrestle, wrestle this knife away from a man. Kudos to her. Again, nobody life have to be taken if everybody can get their soul under control. But when you have situations like this, you want the innocent person to come out on top. That's just my opinion. So he essentially ambushed her getting out of the car going into the home, Taylor said, adding during the scuffle between the two on Wednesday. She was able to wrestle the knife from Lowell's hand, which was with, with which she stabbed him in the abdomen, people. So that's how he actually ended up, she ended up taking his life with a stab wound to the abdomen. It goes on to say he then fled. The area on um, foot police said in a statement, he was found nearby suffering from a stab wound. After being, after being transported by air, he was pronounced dead at a local hospital. Again, I say, by the grace of God, he could have died in that wooded area in her driveway on the way to from wherever he was running to. But he, by the grace of God, he made it to the hospital to try to get some care that he can, you know, in his last minutes of life. You know, I don't stick up for anything evil, but a repentant heart can change. I do believe a lot of your pastors, they went from pimps to pastors. A lot of your worship leaders went from hoes to worship leaders, from whores to worship leaders. A lot of your choir and piano directors, you know, they went from con artist to choir director. It happens, people. But again, you know, for every soul, for every soul that commits a crime, there's judgment for it. So Taylor said the woman would not be criminally charged in Ludwig's death. I guess, you know, judgment is so in this particular case. He is dead. Why charge the woman? He been going around raping, killing people all, all his life. Why take her life for something she was just defending? I kind of agree with it. I don't think she should end up going to jail. Leave your thoughts below. What do you think about that? From every ounce of evidence, it says we have... She was the victim in this case, he said, and we have nothing to say otherwise right now. So basically, they let her off, they let her do her thing, and let's go on to number two. I had got two clips for us to read on this, so I basically wanted to know, like, hmm, let's see. All right, this should be it right here. Nope, that's the same one. Give me a second, guys. All right, here we go. So Taylor said authorities are aware of Mr. Lowick's history and comments surrounding the disappearance of Natalie Ann Holloway. How I read to you in the beginning, he helped dispose of a body. Like, it would be like double jeopardy. This man get away with murder, admit to murdering, go to kidnap a woman he don't that don't want him and don't want to have any re relationship with him, and ha he has a hard time dealing with the rejection. Go to kidnap her, and then you put her in jail the rest of her life because she defended herself. So anyway, it goes on to say about his comments he made in the Natalie Ann Holloway in Aruba during May of 2006. The correct authorities who are working the case have been notified. Our investigations in, in this local case is ongoing, so they're still investigating it down in Florida. Last year, Ludwig claimed Sloop, the prime suspect in Holloway's disappearance, paid him $1,500 to dig up her body, cremate them, and scaffold the ashes in Aruba in 2010. This is why Vandaloop was out in Peru, probably killing the other woman he killed. 
that we read about earlier. It goes on to say, five years after the 18-year-old vanished on a D Dutch Caribbean island, Sloot is currently serving a 28-year prison sentence in Peru for the murder of a 21-year-old uh, Stephanie Fiores in 2000. Okay. And it also says that he was trying to scandal the, the, the Holloway family out of money as well. In the fifth episode of the Oxygen series, Ludwig reveals Sloop initially discussed having Holloway's remains cremated. Even though it was illegal to bring in human remains in cre for cremation in Aruba, Ludwig said some morgues would cremate pets. The idea was to crush everything to the point where it was recognizable as her bones or skull or anything like that. Ludwig said, explaining, he and Sloot spent hours pummeling, pummeling the bones. That, this is crazy, y'all. The only thing that got burned was the skull to burn the hair fibers. It was doused in gasoline in a fire pit in a cave. Earlier episodes reveal Holloway's remain were mixed with that of a dog and cremated. Days later, the ashes were likely scattered, scattered off the coast of Aruba from where the teenager went missing in 2005. Holloway's father, Dave, spent months to uncover the mystery behind his daughter's death. And it goes on to say, Dave, along with his private investigator, T.J. Ward, featured um, featured their discovery and possible evidence in the Oxygen series. So it's the dad going to bat with all his coverage. And that's something maybe our parents need to do for our children. We need to get the coverage out there. We have social media platforms, but we want to cover all the gossip and all the bull crap that goes on. But we don't want to cover the truth about what's really, really, really going on in our communities. So um, it goes on to say, his 18-month-long private investigation found human skeleton remains at an undisclosed location in Aruba. One of the four bone samples was that of human, but did not match Holloway. So, guys, my whole point about this is dealing with rejection is hard for some people to the point where they'll kidnap you, try to kill you, do whatever they can. People, you have to be careful out there as to who and what you date and bring around you and family, friends. with People get rejected for everything. So, you don't, if you ask, somebody asks you for a, a, a ride in your car and you tell them no, that could possibly lead to your death. Protect yourself. I mean, this is a guy who has a history of raping, kidnapping women, had a opportunity to be in a decent relationship with a woman, but something happened. She declined it. He tried to kidnap her and she killed him. So the moral of the story is, people, you live by the sword, you die by the sword. Dealing with rejection is hard, but if you out here raping and killing people, somebody may put a stop to your life. Somebody may end that. You know, we all pray it be the court system to get you off the street and deal with it that way, but somebody may end up taking your life because you don't know how to deal with rejection. My point my you know let me know what your thoughts is about this but people you have to learn how to deal with rejection so it saves your life and not take it thank you comment below share this video